Alright, uh, welcome back to the channel and uh, another Star Citizen video uh, today, something a little bit different. Um, we've got access to 3.19 through the Wave 1 PTU. Uh, yes, I am a filthy subscriber. Um, so we're going to have a look at uh, the new features, uh, mostly the Lawville 2.0 skyline uh, and a little bit of um, the new tractor beam stuff. Uh, so here we are in our uh, Anvil Arrow. Uh, heading out of Lawville. Uh, as you can see, things have definitely changed. Um, it's a lot more populated now. These volumetric clouds are um, pretty pretty amazing, to be quite honest with you. Um, and the city. I mean, honestly, there's a lot more detail in these buildings, a lot more lighting. Uh, the buildings feel a lot more fleshed out. Uh, yes, as you can see, just having a look around. Pretty nice. Um, I'm liking this update. I really am. Yeah. I'll have a bit of a fly around in a second and explore. See what's around us. See if there's anything new, any trouble we can find ourselves. I'm um, keeping it relatively slow. I don't want to crash. I'm not the best pilot, so. <laughs> So at this point here, I decided to have a bit of a look at the windows and see whether you actually see the interiors of these buildings. Um, getting a bit closer, they all look very similar. So I think they're all just placeholders at the moment. Uh, eventually, I believe, the plan from CRG is to fill all of these out so they actually look living, like a living city, I suppose. Um, and I believe there are plans for apartments and all sorts of stuff going on, so... That'll be interesting when that finally comes out, uh, but we're yet to see any of that. So as I said, these all just look very cut and copy, sort of filler. I don't know if you can tell, I, I could don't certainly tell what I was playing. Um, performance has been degraded a little bit by the new clouds and uh, the new buildings. Uh, the PC I'm running this on isn't slow by any standards. Um, I've got a 5900X, you know, 12 core, 24 threads, running at 4.5 gigahertz. Uh, I got 32 meg, scratched 32 gig of RAM, 32 meg, god. Um, and it's all running on an NVMe uh, SSD as well. So I think there's a bit more optimization that could be done with this. Um, but still looks pretty. Frames are relatively smooth. So here we go. We're going to have a bit of a deeper look into the city. Get an external view so everyone can see a bit better what's going on. This may try my best to mimic actual flight characteristics. Uh, see, we're just going to have a bit of a look around and, and see what's out there. Uh, I don't think this part really needs any commentary. Uh, I'll come back to you guys when there's something to talk about. One thing to point out, and it, it will come up a bit later, that warning, uh, you don't actually get the 20 seconds. You get about 4 seconds to get out of there before they will impound you. Yeah. There's an obvious placeholder sign. Looks a bit glitchy, kind of cool. I like the look of it. Yeah, that, that cityscape is pretty amazing. This game is pretty damned amazing, let's be honest. Uh, they look like uh, train tracks below us. I didn't see any trains. I did hang around for a bit to see if any would pop up, but nothing happened, so we just moved on.
here I stupidly make the decision to see what's in this hole and what happens if I fly down into it. Yeah, spoiler alert, it... No, it didn't end badly, I didn't die, but um, my vehicle was impounded. Uh, and every time your vehicle gets impounded, it's a $2,000 fine and a crime stat, so you've got to be aware of that sort of stuff. So as you saw there, uh, it keyed me out after about six seconds of that impound warning. So I don't think that will uh, transfer across to the actual live environment, but uh, if you're ever in 3.19 in the PTU, that's something to keep an eye on. So yeah, as you can see, I got a crime stat from that. Uh, it's only a level 1 crime stat, so nothing too bad. $2,000 fine. Who cares? It's all fake space money anyway, right? Uh, and CIG give you a million Alpha UEC for the PTU anyway. Uh, so it's right right here I decided, rather than explore any more of Lawville, I would try and go out. I'd heard rumours that uh, you could actually hire a vulture um, from area 18 uh, so here we are area 18 um, about to fly into there and see if we can find it uh, apparently you well from what I heard you could hire it from the exhibition hall The other thing to bring up, uh, new clouds on Area 18 as well, which are quite nice. Um, they do make flying in a bit interesting because they're very low-lying clouds. But uh, yes, yeah, CRG have done a good job with these volumetric clouds. Um, the art team should be pretty proud of what they've done, I think. Uh, one other tip uh, I found this out is that there's a new hotkey for requesting a landing. You can hit Alt and N. Uh, at this stage, using the multifunction displays doesn't work. Um, so, just if you get into 3.19 in the PTU, keep that in mind. Alt plus N will enable, enable you to uh, request a landing and request departure as well. So yeah, like I said, these clouds are quite low. You actually end up quite close to the city before uh, they fade and you can actually see anything. Here we are flying into the spaceport. I actually find it quite hard to see when the uh, the rain's washing up against the cockpit window, so sometimes I'll switch to external view. land at uh, Art Corp in Area 18, so I was kind of confused as to where this landing zone was. It clicks eventually that it's underneath me. Yeah, right about here. I've worked it out. I do like that they've added these um, little tooltips, I suppose, uh, which tend to change depending on what you're doing. So right now, see how I'm in the landing zone? It says auto land, you hold N. Um, oh, that was a nice addition. It's just good for uh, new players. Uh, I believe there's meant to be a new player experience coming with 319 as well. Uh, it's not out on the PTU yet, but once it is, I'll definitely be giving that a crack and see what it's like. Say so out. Yeah. 
actually pretty close. So here we are. Launch week. For, uh, what is it? Defense con? There you go. Uh, so I had been told there was a terminal back here somewhere, but uh, I couldn't see it. And these elevators, as you'll soon see, go nowhere. You can open them, go in, but they just bring you back to the spaceport. So, yeah. No luck hiring a vulture here. I was actually hoping to test some of the new salvage missions. Uh, CIG, in their infinite wisdom, didn't give us access to a vulture to test for 319, uh, which seems like a bit of an oversight to me. Uh, I think they should have given us a vulture. Um, otherwise, they're stuck with a limited um, player base that can actually test, because not everyone bought the vulture. Uh, it was a $170 ship, I believe, US. Which isn't exactly achievable for everyone. Uh, and in 318, the PTU, they gave us a vulture, so um, maybe it'll be coming in later patches. If it does, I will definitely be testing the new salvage missions because they sound quite interesting. So at this point, we head back to the normal traveler's rentals to see if you can rent it from there. It's just over here a bit. Scrolling through the list, yeah, you see, can't hire the vulture. So, uh, we'll head over to Virginie Point very shortly. Uh, I'll check there. Uh, just checking the cargo area to see whether you can hire it from there. So, yep, here we are at Virginie Point in the cargo area and no cannot be hired from here uh, so my next thought at this point was hey let's go to um, one of the stations and see if you can hire it from the uh, mining center at the bottom of it but again no so I kind of gave up on that idea um, and thought let's try out the new tractor beam stuff uh, so here I am having a bit of a blonde moment forgetting that I'm in an armistice zone and you can't use the tractor beam while you're in an armistice zone. Um, the other thing to point out, uh, I did do a bit of searching on this, is you actually have to jump in the cockpit and unlock your ports. So you do that through uh, your, what's it called, secondary interface, uh, whatever it's called, I forget exactly what, which you'll see in a second, there we go there, so ship systems. Vehicle, yeah, supports. So you unlock all your ports, and that actually enables you to take uh, components off your ship and put components onto your ship. Uh, at this stage, just weapons. The other components are not interactable. This is just the first iteration of the tractor beam. So you can see it's selectable, but again, in an armistice zone, can't actually use the tractor beam attachment there. So what we'll do is, eventually I will jump out of here. Um, my bright idea was to just nab a quick bounty. Kill that bounty and see if I could steal its weapons. Uh, so we've killed the bounty, we've landed on the planet. Here I am trying to detach it. Uh, took me a little while to work out, as you'll see, that uh, unlike cargo, you don't just scroll in and out to move it around. You actually have to physically detach it by moving it away um, and moving that slowly doesn't really work so it takes me a little while to work that part out so yeah at this point I'm uh, going back to the crash ship I destroyed to see if I can uh, steal its weapons And it turns out, no, you can't. Which, again, this is just the first iteration, so I'm sure this will be coming. Uh, that at some point, once you shoot down the ship and it lands, um, you'll be able to actually take the weapons off of it. Which makes sense to me. Uh, there's no reason you wouldn't be able to.
I'm not quite giving up. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get up on top of my arrow there and uh, take off the turret's weapons. It turns out if you jump up on that little antenna, I guess it would be, you can actually get up on the top. And so right about now I worked out, hey, you just have to move it far enough to get it away, to detach it. And I will work this out later on, but it turns out all you need to do really, once it's green like that, is let go and the weapon will automatically attach. Um, where it's yellow like that, it means that the uh, weapon can fit into that weapon board, uh, however, it's not correctly aligned. Uh, so there I was just googling how to fix that. Uh, turns out all you do really is hold R to rotate. And I will work that out in just a second here, there we go worked out how to rotate stuff. Again, the tooltips, right? Coming in handy. Had I not known about the tooltips, it would have forced me to go and Google. So I'm just having a sort of a play around to see how you can move this thing around. So what you do is you hold R and you move your scroll wheel to, to rotate the weapon system. Alright, and we got it back on. Uh, so yeah, that's it guys. Uh, thanks for joining me on another Star Citizen video. Uh, once again, if you like what I've done, feel free to like the video, uh, subscribe if you think that I've done enough to earn a subscription, chuck a comment down below if you think I'm a complete and utter idiot, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers!